Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, because it's been a long day, but it's been a good day for the Bulls once again. So, I'm going to pull up the daily chart on the Dow. And we were overbought on this Dow going into January, and it had a nice correction. And as a matter of fact, I will show you what the correction was. The high was 16,573. That's what the high was in January on the first trading day. One of the things that we're going to be very clear about is that that reversal, which was a total of 1,233 Dow points reversal, something that the Dow has not seen for quite a while. And it was extremely overbought and long overdue for it. And some of the earnings haven't been that great either in January when they started and then February we still have a lot of them coming out now one thing about it is that we had the 10 and the 20 cross down they have flattened out on no simple moving averages it's been a long long time plus it broke the 50 day right here oh yes it did and we got down here to the green line to the 200 day and we put a bottom in right here we were deeply short-term oversold so the bull really got hammered from an overbought to an oversold area and once again the 50-day simple moving average and whatnot is at 16091 that's right here the white line the 40 day is right above it however we are above the 100 day simple moving average which was 15813 so we are definitely above that so we're back above the 200 by a long shot the 10 is the, the blue line here and this is where the Dow is going to have some challenges now and it hadn't had a decent pullback for a while it's still not a 10 percent pullback which this market will see this year at some point in time but one thing that we can say is we are going to go to the half bar right here that is your current resistance level with the daily simple moving averages the 20 day though however is still pointing down the red line so that's the half bar now up above here what we're going to do is simply give you a trend line right here that's the low end here and the top end of that big sell down day remember though that the bear had some big days behind it some 300 point days so this is going to be that next major resistance level then what will happen is where we have the one two three four now check this out there's the fifth day and it was slanting and that's where the selling started right there so that is your cons consolidation breakdown we had one over here in the very first part of January and we broke down and then we rallied back up but look we went down good and hard and every good bull run needs a bear run and so both parties get paid well and the thing about it is the bull isn't going to be totally back yet until we get what we call a daily buy signal we had daily sell signal they got pretty darn uh, over sold and it did and this is how bottom starts in one thing about the Dow today it ended up 63.65 points now in the opening bell this morning the Dow was down 90 points and it had a very big pendulum swing so bottoms part of confirming a bottom you have to start down big that's what we did today we we're down in the futures were down 100 points uh, the indexes were down 90 points and we came rip roaring back in that early trade and that is the first sign that a bottom is reformed itself meaning that the bull is back so we've covered these resistance levels and whatnot and 
like I said, every bottom has to start on a negative down move of triple digits and then coming back and ending up 63 points in total. So today's total movement in the Dow was 176 points. Yes, it was. 176 daily range in the Dow points. Those are how bottoms are put in from oversold levels.